Hello. I wanted to continue on a little bit about living in the heart. Yesterday, I did a video about just the real basics about what that means, but I wanted to really make it a point of how important it is for us to live in our hearts, especially at these times. We're going to be thrown around if we're not living in our heart. What I mean is we cannot live sustainably with resilience and with peace if we live externally, if we depend on external forces. The heart is how we live within. It is the innate technology we've been given to live within, to live with pure awareness, with source, with connection to guidance, intuition, intelligence. The heart gives us all of these things. So yes, it's important. Now, a lot of us grew up with hardened hearts, and I was the same. When we're children, we're brought into this world, and it's not designed at the moment to be heart-centered. Our world is not heart-centered. We aren't born into a world where we're shown what our heart is and how to use it. We're not mentored through a process of seeing the sacredness of our heart and how to connect with ourselves and with others. That's just not part of the curriculum at the moment in our world, but it needs to be. And so we can at least start now. Our heart is going to give us the resilience and the strength and the peace to get through this exciting and challenging time that we're all experiencing now. It's integral that you learn to live in your heart. I can't put a finer point on that. So, like you and maybe like me, uh, we all have had experiences of having a hardened heart. But how do we get rid of that block, that shield that we've put up as a protection measure so we don't get hurt again like we did when we were kids? So this is a natural defence mechanism we put up to guard and protect ourselves so that we don't get hurt. But the thing is, we need courage. It takes courage to live in your heart. And guess what the root word of courage is? It's kur, the heart. We need our heart to give us the strength, resilience, guidance, direction, intelligence to get through this life. And really, once we understand this, you'll see how easy it is, how life is a completely different program when you live in your heart. So how do we melt away that that wall we've built up around our hearts. Well, I the insight I received today was really beautiful actually, is that if you start to think of someone in your life who really has an open heart, and you can tell, you can just tell. If you want to put your hand on your heart when you're thinking of them and just see if you can feel any, any reactions emotionally or physically. But you'll be able to see that person in your mind's eye and feel, feel love because they are demonstrating to you what really living in the heart means. Now, for me, I have a few special people in my life. When I think of them, my heart, my heart twitters and I can feel my heart opening even more. And so what I would suggest, and this is what I was given today as an insight, is go seek out those people in your life that open your heart. Spend time around these people. And you'll notice that some, some people in your life make you shield your heart even more and block that up again. And, and that's okay. That's a defense mechanism. But be aware that they are mirroring you and you're mirroring them. So it's natural for like to attract like for us to entrain with others of the same re resonance and frequency. So what we really want to do is begin to learn to, of course, have gratitude, which opens up our heart to unconditional love and to be surrounded by people who are demonstrating how to live in your heart. And you'll know who they are. You will know. They might be the people you've avoided in your life. That can happen. I can attest to that because you don't really want to feel. But when you're around these people, you're forced to feel. And you can feel quite vulnerable around these people. The people with the open hearts will make you feel vulnerable. You'll be more aware of your vulnerability and you'll want to shield, but just by being around them, you can slowly open the petals of your heart and it's beautiful and it's an absolutely um, transformative experience to be able to open your heart. 
So have a look at the people in your life. Look at the ones you've been avoiding. Perhaps they are the ones that actually are going to help you open your heart even further and blossom and bloom with love and, and with the new eyes to see the subtle energies that are around us working with us when we're working in the heart space. And that's the other insight I was given today is those who are very open-hearted are very sensitive. Generally, you'll find them in the same category. So highly sensitive people have open hearts. And the thing is, when you open your heart, yes, you're opening your heart to, to um, being more sensitive to things as well. And that can be scary and uncomfortable, but it's all part of the process of really, really actually experiencing this, this life with all of, all of you what you can the full experience without numbing yourself or distracting yourself, the full experience is from the heart. So when we open our heart, you'll gradually become more sensitive to energies around you and you'll be more sensitive to the subtle energies, the ones you never even noticed before. And these are the subtle energies. These subtle energies are the guidance, the intelligence, the intuition, the path for you to follow the solutions, the answers, subtle energies provide you with direction Who you and it helps you navigate the world, the subtle world, the world we don't see with our eyes. The subtle world of energy has a whole lot going on that we don't see. It's always around us. But when we have opened our heart, we get a new psychic ability, a new ability to see beyond what we used to see just with these eyes. And so we'll be able to navigate more fully with more information and guidance so it is worth opening your heart spend some time around people with open hearts and be okay with feeling vulnerable it's okay just allow that shield to melt away so I hope this has encouraged you to build courage from the heart and and really seek to have an open heart and you will find so much more grace from spirit in your life. So enjoy the process of opening your heart. It is truly a beautiful, magnificent experience and have a beautiful day. See ya.